This last week, you participated in a press conference about Trump policies versus Harris policies. What are some of the key policy differences that you think matter to the faith community? You know, it's so amazing to me. I was just going over this at the, at the conference on Tuesday. President Trump promise, and, and, and when I say this, Trump's policy, it's not only for black, it's for all ethnic groups. But right now, so many of our cities, our black cities, African-American cities like Detroit, it's on fire. And because of President Trump, he has such a great compassion for people. We're going to Detroit and unlike minded cities to put out this fire. So look for President Trump. This is what he has promised. And we all know that President Trump has been a man and a president of his word. So we can look back at what he has done. We know that he's going to continue to be a man of his word, a person of his word. He, he, this is what he says to help the black communities. Three million new jobs for the black community creating 500,000 new black owned businesses, increase access to capital in black communities by almost 500 billion, safe urban neighborhoods with highest policy standards, commit to working on a second step act, access to better education and job training opportunities. It goes on and on. He even said he'd give black churches the ability to complete for federal resources for their community. And it goes on and on. But I wanna say this about the black church. You know, Tara, the black African-American people, most of them are conservative. Some of them do not know it yet. Some just, uh, they, they're ignorant. And when I say ignorant, I just mean they just don't know. And those who do know, shame on them, right? So, but I believe bringing these churches, these pastors together, educating them on President Trump's policies. They can also look back on what he uh, has already done for the African-American community and all ethnic groups. So we, can, we know that we can trust that. So as we educate them and we lock arms across this nation, I tell you, the policies, we'll all be living in a new America, a better America, like make America great again. Under President Trump's administration, African-American people were thriving. I had a young man at, the, um, at our press conference. He walked up, and you'll see him on the video. He was saying, not only did I change to be a conservative, but I, I also found God. And he went on mm. to say how he, he lost his job, and he went on to say his the food, what the you know, the, the grocery bill was just skyrocketed. You know, he was thriving under President Trump. And now the last three and a half years under Biden Harris administration, he's lost his job and it's just been a mess for him. And the stories go on and on and on. And not only, once again, we want to get to the root of this, it's not just African American community, it's all ethnic groups that have benefited bigly um, on President um, uh, Trump's policies. Biden-Harris policies, trust me, this country will be totally destroyed. So we cannot allow her to become our next president. And I want to say this, not only her, we cannot allow any leftist that has this mindset to become our next president.